Now let's take a look at how we can use Microsoft Project to make some of these calculations for us about our project network. I have this project network entered into Microsoft Project, or at least partially so. I have the tasks entered, and I have their respective durations. Now I'm simply going to link those tasks together as shown in my project network. I'm going to link task A to task B, which then goes to task D, which then goes to task F. I also need to link A to C to E and to F. Make those linkages and you can see in my Gantt chart here that I have two paths through our network. Now let's, we've entered the uh, path information, the uh, dependencies, and we've also entered durations. So Microsoft Project already knows things such as the critical path. So let's take a look at under format here. If we click on critical tasks under format, it will simply highlight in red those tasks that are on the critical path. And we see the same result that A, B, D, and F are on the critical path and that we know that in fact this entire uh, this path is the longest way through it and that means that our project is going to take 24 days. I just went up here to project summary task and chose that so that I could see a summary of the various pieces of information in our project. Now we can highlight the critical path and that's a, a great way to do things. If we just only want to focus in on that critical path what we can do, I'm going to remove this format here, is we can go over to the view menu and we can actually filter on various things such as critical path. So in this case it's only going to show us the tasks in our project that are on the critical path. So it shows me right there the task A, B, D, and F are on the critical path. I can change this back to no filter and then I get to see all those tasks. Now let's take a look. I'm going to go back here to Format and I'm going to go ahead and highlight the critical uh, path tasks in my Gantt chart. And let's go uh, and click on this little area here where the row and the columns uh, intersect. And we can go to Schedule. And that will show us the start, the finish, the late start, the late finish, and the uh, amount of slack that we have in these various tasks. Now it's a little bit confusing because Microsoft Project is going to show us the slack or the float in two different ways. First the free slack which is it's just considering this entire path so we know for example that the path of A, C, E, and F has a slack of four days and so that means that entire path has a slack of four days. But if you look really at each individual task, uh, any one of those tasks, C or E, could take four days more to complete and it would not impact the uh, end of the schedule. But what free slack is doing is it actually just puts those extra four days or that slack on the last task because it says uh, we can't have both C and E going four days over because then we would be at 28 days. So in fact we have uh, for that entire path through the network we just have a total of four days of slack. So um, if you want to look at the slack like uh, was calculated in the uh, previous video where we were calculating it on a per task basis you're going to look at total slack. So hopefully that shows you how we can take a project network like this put it into Microsoft Project and get the same data back out of Microsoft Project.